we, <laughs> yeah. we, we have a new segment that we're going to start doing, and uh, we, we want the audience's help with this. We're, uh, we're going to do a, uh, an improv skit every week. We've, we've gotten a lot of suggestions from people to do uh, like, a, like a skit, and uh, honestly, I don't think we're uh, dedicated enough to the show to write something each week. <laughs> no. so, so we're going to do an improv skit. So if you have an idea for an improv skit, what we need you to send us uh, to orderoftheponia at gmail.com is a one-line idea for a skit and then uh, what what each of the characters, the three characters, are going to be. So uh, this week, for instance, uh, we're going to do Trapped Inside a Felt Tip Pen Factory. And, I thought you were uh, going to say Trapped in a Garage. No. <laughs> trapped Inside a t- Felt Tip Pen Factory. I am playing a depressed bakery shop owner. Robert, you are a physicist from Yale. And Christopher, you are an ancient Egyptian god. <laughs> and the three of us, <laughs> the three of us are trapped inside a felt tip pen factory. You guys ready? <laughs> yes. So here, ready? We, here we go. Improvised skit, trapped inside. And so if you have an idea, send us an email to uh, orderoftheponia at gmail.com. And a, as the title put, uh, improv skit idea. And uh, and we, next week we'll do uh, we'll do one based on the suggestions of our readers. Readers, listeners. Why did I say readers? <laughs> people read this. Yes, people. Our audience doesn't read this. This program goes out in braille. <laughs> uh, uh. I'm I am very depressed, and I eat when I'm depressed because I'm a baker and I always have lots of sweets around. My name is Chad. <laughs> I'm a physicist from Yale, and I'm I'm you trapped sound. in a fail tip fin. <laughs> Pen factory. <laughs> you sound like a physicist from Yale. You have that, that kind of tone about you. Well, my name is Ra, and I am the Egyptian sun god. I don't know why I'm Whoa. stuck in here with you two peons. I don't either. This is very confusing for me. So where are we? We're in a felt tip pin factory. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's where we are. Let's... Why? Let's... Why are we here? Last thing I remember is I was, uh... That was at the Taco Bell. Physicist sees that Taco was, Bell? Actually, I, Taco Bell makes me sleepwalk. <laughs> oh, my voice changed. <laughs> Last I remember, that was covered in string cheese. <laughs> Taco Bell makes me sleepwalk, and uh, sometimes when I sleepwalk, I kidnap people, and I, I trap them into a, a uh, felt-tip pen factory with me. I have, uh, I have blackouts, and I wake up covered in food. I am a god, and I can appear anywhere I please. So why did you appear here? Well, because you are a world-renowned baker, and I like your pies. Oh, well, and, thank you. And I'm Chad? Well. Chad is just a douchebag, and I like being around him. Well, there you go. My baby sister, uh, my babysitter used to give me pizza that made me go to sleep, and then I'd wake up and my ass was sore. <laughs> but she was a chick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very sad story. Yeah, it's very sad indeed. Very well, we sad. gotta figure out a way to get the hell out of here. We got to. We have to figure out how to leave this place. I gotta Maybe. get back. I gotta get back to the sun because if I'm not there at five o'clock, then uh, it kind of gets upset and might hurdle some sort of hot ash or some sort of flame towards the earth, and we don't want that to happen. I gotta get back to the bakery and then to the zoo to pick up some zebras for the bakery. That's all ah, my yes. pies are so good. It's zebra meat. <laughs> I, I love get zebra back. meat. I gotta get back to Yale. <laughs> you got some important lectures to do. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so what are you what are you teaching this year, Chad? Physicism. <laughs> Physicism. Fascinating. That is fast. That is. I I I I don't understand anything about physicism. Can you explain? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not very good at this. Well, my my voice changed again. <laughs> Does your voice change when you're nervous? Yes. I used to have that problem. Yes, me too. When I was going through puberty, I just do it for the hot college girls. <laughs> Yes, I don't blame you. I, I am the, 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 the god of the sun, and so I get to uh, look at those hot college girls as they lay out at the beach. My voice is Man. deep again. 
Ra is a pervert. My uh, voice. Yeah, you could you could call me a pervert, but uh, I, uh, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Something's going on with Chad, apparently. Chad, what are you, what are you doing over there? Uh, hey. Put your, uh, <laughs> oh my god, Chad put is... Your, put your pants back on, Chad. Chad is like, he's, he's doing this thing where he's like a chameleon, where his, his, uh, his skin is changing to adapt to the environment around him. You can't see me. That's weird. <laughs> where did, where did he go? can't see me. I don't understand what's happening you here. can't see me. Chad, where, where are you? I am the face of death. Oh <gasps> my god. Oh my god, this is taking a turn. I am going to eat your soul. Jason, we need to get out of here. J- ah. Jason. Sorry. <laughs> my name what is you... Roberto. Well, you didn't tell me that at the beginning. Why would you think my name is Jason? Yeah, because, uh... You're supposed to be a god. You're supposed to know these things. Well, I am the, 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 the god of the sun. I don't know everything. You know about sun stuff? Yeah, I know about sun stuff, and the sun's pretty hot. That's all I know. It is fairly nice. hot. Just for a future reference, whenever I start going crazy like that, just give me pizza-flavored Pringles, and I'll be fine. Okay, got it. My voice how'd is you different. Find, how'd you find Pringles inside of a felt-tip pin factory? Oh, no, I keep them in, with me. Oh, oh, okay. Like, those, yeah, little that's pretty min, smart. those little mini packs. Like an insulin pack. Yeah. Guys, I got a problem. What's yeah. that, I started. I started eating the felt-tip pens. Oh, that is a problem. I need to know if they're poisonous because I'm not feeling too hot right now. As a physis as a physicist, <laughs> uh, it is my professional opinion that uh, I think you'll be fine. Thank you. I, as, I feel good about that. As a, as a sun god, it is my opinion that you will probably die. Just putting that out there. That is depressing. I, I'm even sadder now than I used to be. What kind of... What kind of... What kind of ink was it? Was it like poisonous ink? Well, you see, if it had said this pen includes poisonous ink, do not eat, then I wouldn't be asking this question because I, I would have my answer. Where are my pants? <laughs> Sorry, I took them off. He does that. <laughs> we gotta figure hey, out... We gotta figure out how me. to get out of this factory. We gotta figure out how to get out of this skit. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take twenty Xanaxes. Let's all commit gonna, suicide. That's how we'll gonna, we'll end this. But if I commit myself. suicide, the sun will burn out. Ah, whatever. Yeah, who well, cares? We're all dead anyway. Me? Yeah. All right, I took twenty Xanax. I'm gonna lay down and just uh, drift into death. Uh oh. I'm gonna cause a chain fusion reaction inside my stomach and explode. And, uh, I'm gonna go fly into the, into the center of the sun. But then that means I would have gotten out of here. So I guess I'm free. <laughs> and Ra terrorized the planet for decades to come. The end. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. For, for those people listening, we actually recorded that twice. <laughs> <laughs> that was the better one. <laughs> You'll have to put like deleted bits on on the site sometime. Or... Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do some bonus stuff. Yeah, but, bonus uh, material. But yeah, so that was that was the second time we recorded that. So that was the better there, one. 